Welcome to another episode of Ingrid's World. Today's episode is about cooking with a purpose. That's right, I say cooking with a purpose. Today, we're going to be highlighting organizations and businesses that use food to better our community. So let's welcome our first guest, Lori Seitz, founder and chief executive of Zen Rabbit. Welcome, Lori. Thank you for having me. This is wonderful. Thank you very much. Well, tell us a little bit about your company. Yeah, Zen Rabbit was founded to help business professionals to say thank you to their clients and to people who send them referrals. So it's, and the tool that we use to do that is called the gratitude cookie, which is a really cool thing based on a family recipe. Wow. And so what's in the gratitude cookie? It's kind of a cross between a butter and a sugar cookie and they're rolled out really thin. It all started when I, this is something that we used to make for the holidays, and when I would make them for family and friends, they would say, oh my gosh, these are so good. You need to sell these. So I thought about it, and the opportunity came up, and I said, fine, let's, what can I do with this? Let's create a business. So excellent. took the gratitude cookie and, and so right will we it. have a chance to make a gratitude cookie today? Sure, let's do that. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so, so you start out with some butter and some sugar. Mm -hmm. And I'll just put this in here. Great. Yeah, in the bowl there. And, uh, and then cream together the butter and the sugar. And then you add, um, it's actually a very simple recipe. You add an egg and I'll just crack this egg in here. An egg, Excellent. some milk, very simple. Mm. You really can't go wrong with this. It's a very uh, forgiving recipe. <laughs> what I loved about your, your cookies is that it was just wonderful and so simple, you know, yeah. when you make that cookie. That's the beauty of it is it's very simple, all ingredients that you would find in your grandmother's kitchen. Nothing that you can't pronounce. Oh, very and good. That's what makes it so good. There are no <laughs> chemicals or weird artificial flavors and colors and things like that. And that's uh, key. A little bit okay, of, uh, and what are you just Add a little bit of vanilla. Oh, excellent. Pure vanilla, none of that artificial stuff. Okay, I love stuff. it. Uh, yeah, and then mix that all together there. Mm. And then we'll add in the flour and baking powder. And that's pretty much so, All the ingredients. You know, and I was when I was reading your um, your wonderful website about uh, the gratitude cookie. You, how did you really start this business? Because I loved your business concept. Yeah. Well, it was never my intention to be the next Mrs. Fields. It was more of what can I do to help businesses say thank you okay. to their customers and their clients, and looking at packaging and uh, mm -hmm. creating a product that would help businesses to do that in a way that presented the right image oh. and the right uh, wow. design and made the companies, the clients look good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, yeah. That's key. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Uh, so you just mix this all so you together. Mix all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you roll it out into a very thin, uh, I don't know if we're gonna, do that yeah. here, but you you, uh, you would roll this roll out. Roll it out, yeah. With the okay, with the marble rolling pin. And I love your rolling <laughs> pin. <laughs> okay, it's very heavy. You get muscles doing, okay. using this thing. Uh, yeah, roll them out really thin. Put them on a baking tray for ten minutes, depending uh -huh. on the uh, the heat of your oven. Okay, and there you go. That's that's pretty much it. And with the magic of television, I think she has some cookies <laughs> already for us. Okay, we do have some cookies okay. ready. Yeah, let me just. Oh, me. I don't want to burn my hand. Okay, so no, that's the, that's important. The oh, oven wait a minute, here. that's a rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. So, uh, yeah, we've had some baking in here. So I notice and very I'm natural right here. ingredients here. Oh, nothing like warm cookies. They smell <laughs> amazing. Oh my they? goodness. <laughs> yeah, nothing yeah. like warm cookies. And so. If I am interested in this cookie, how do I find out more information? Yeah, so now I've created a couple of different, few different packages for businesses to be able to use as their gifts to send mm -hmm. to their clients. So the way to find out what they look like and where to, how to get them and all that's mm -hmm. included in there mm -hmm. is zenrabbit.com. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, um, 
this show is focused on businesses that focus that really give back to the community. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, well, it's so important to say thank you to people. And everybody knows that. They they most people have been taught that by their mom to write a thank you note after you get a gift to yeah. say thank you. But what happens in our society is people get so busy that they know it's the right thing to do, but then they get back to the office and they have so many phone calls and emails to answer, and it just gets put on the back burner. So this is something that makes it really easy to do and to say thank you uh, to clients, because in addition to just being the right thing to do, it's actually financially beneficial if you have a business to mm -hmm. be able to do that. And so uh, Zen Rabbit has created a very simple system. We help clients create systems, and so that it's always um, very easy to do. And I think in today's world where everybody's communicating electronically all the time, uh -huh. people don't, they, they're missing that personal that connection. That personal connection. Yeah. So um, where can we, well, I think there's a couple of things I want to get you to talk about. Um, you said that there's a special way that you eat a cookie. Right. So let's, Let's eat a cookie okay. your way, Lori. Okay. So, man, so, take one of these. Yes, take one of these. The part of the reason why they're called gratitude cookies is first, if you're giving them to someone, you're showing appreciation okay. for that relationship. Okay. And secondly, we encourage you to think about something you're grateful for okay. as you're eating it. Okay. So, Even. It, all right. So I should eat it. Yeah. Okay. And it's good. Crunchy. Love it. Yeah. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of calories, too. No, they're so thin. Oh, hardly any. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wonderful. And then you yeah. think about what you're grateful for. What you're grateful for. Mm. And even if it's nothing more mm. than being grateful for having taste buds that you can taste, buds. taste that with. Wonderful. Or that yeah. you're enjoying a great, great cookie. Where can we find? Give us your website. It's zenrabbit.com. Zenrabbit.com. Yeah. And because that's really, you know, so we can get more information. Yes. And try to eat this cookie and then think about being grateful because I think yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to brew up some coffee now. Oh. Goes great with the cookie. Hot cup of coffee, <laughs> cookie. Mm. Soon we're going to have yeah. a little blanket. <laughs> Fire Sitting place. by the fire, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter when, but yeah. thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you it's for important. having me. Thank you. Ingrid, I'm taking teens to visit the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. I find it exciting because it's where our laws are made. Did you know the construction of the U.S. Capitol began in 1793 and Congress started meeting there in November 1800? The Capitol is the home of the U.S. Congress, which is the House of Representatives and the Senate. This is a very exciting place to visit since you always hear about Capitol Hill. To visit areas of the Capitol beyond the Capitol Visitor Center, you must make a reservation in advance. The guided tour of the Capitol includes a 13-minute film, Out of Many One, which tells you all about this amazing building that houses our Congress. On the tour, you will see the crypt of the Capitol, the rotunda, and National Statuary Hall. All tours begin and end at the Capitol Visitor Center. The Capitol Visitor Center is open to visitors from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday, it's up for Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, and on Inauguration Day. So check out www.visitthecapital.com for reservations. Maybe you'll be inspired to enter into politics. Back to you, Ingrid. That was absolutely inspiring. Thank you, Anya. Now it's time for us to visit with the president and vice president of Gator Ron Zesty Sauce and Mixes. We're going to be fixing deviled eggs and crusted chicken breasts with angel sauce. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank well, you for having us. Well, it's good to have you here. Well, now you're going to be making, um, tell us first of all, before you start making anything, what's the name of your company and? It's Gator Ron's and it's uh, after my husband, that was his nickname, Gator Ron. He was a Florida grad and he loved the Gator. So he developed these sauces over the last 20 years and had people request them 
over and over again. So he decided, I'm going to go ahead and start this business. Mm. And um, when he started uh, uh, researching the business, he, uh -huh. he discovered that he had ALS. He was diagnosed. Wow. And everything took a back seat. But during the illness, he always talked about, oh, I wish I had done the sauce business, and oh, can you make me a Bloody Mary? Can you make me? Mm -hmm. He wanted me to make the sauces for him. So when he passed away in November of 2011, I decided to honor his memory and to create the business for him. Wow. So I keep him with me every day. He's in my heart. And we're also selling the sauces to raise money for ALS research <gasps> in the hopes that other people won't go with through what through what Ron had to go through. So I see that we're going to be making some deviled eggs. We are going to be making some deviled eggs with a kicked up sauce. Ooh, a little spicy <laughs> a sauce. A little spicy okay. egg. Okay, <laughs> so let's start making okay, some deviled so eggs. We have all these hard boiled eggs already here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut them down the middle like you would with any deviled mm -hmm, egg. Mm -hmm. And you put this in the egg dish and you do that with a couple of eggs. And I won't do it with all of them, but mm -hmm. I will then show you how you, mm -hmm. it's very simple. Mm -hmm. You take your, you just take a, a fork and you mash up Ooh. the egg yolks until cool. so they're kind of mushy. Can, you know I can do that. You can do this. I'm very this good easy. at that. Ron's <laughs> recipes are really easy. I mean, very good. If I can do them, anybody can do them. And uh, I can find recipes where? on our website. Yay! Add some, add the mayonnaise. Okay. Um, chopped celery. Very good. Gatoron's right. wing angel wing sauce, and if you like them extra spicy, we have spicy angel wing you know, sauce. I like my eggs to have a little kick. Oh, you got it. You <laughs> might want to go with you want that. the spicy on yours. Mm -hmm. And then you just mix it all up, mm -hmm. and it's very, you know, till it's all blended together. Add a little salt and pepper to taste. Mm. It looks yummy. And then you just take a spoon, put it into the egg, and garnish with a caper. Wow. Now, now I've actually made some for you because now you want to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour okay. and chill it. So we've got a whole plate Yay! made. <laughs> the magic of television. It's and already this is done. Yay. Gator Ron's deviled eggs with a kick. But, mm. Wonderful. In fact, uh, what we'll do, we'll tr go over and we'll place it at our table. This is the first part okay, of our okay. meal. Great. I will put it right Excellent. over Excellent. Thank you. Very good. What's in that sauce? What uh, it's just uh, some hot sauce that you get in the store, ginger, fresh mm -hmm. ground ginger. Ah, fresh ground it's ginger. It's got cayenne and it's got some pepper flakes. And I hear all the medical people talking about how important ginger is in our diet. Exactly, and, and these sauces okay. are very healthy for you. They're all, uh, they're natural, all um, gluten-free, fat-free, dairy-free, no GMOs, no HVPs, it's kosher. Excellent. I mean, any diet Yay. can mm. eat it. Yeah. So now, let's do some chicken. Let's okay, so chicken. what we did, Debbie and I actually um, made the chicken earlier, so we crusted some chicken. We um, took a chicken breast and pounded it out and floured it mm -hmm. and then put it in an egg wash and then into this gluten-free breadcrumbs yeah. and um, Parmesan cheese mm. and uh, a little bit of lemon zest. Okay. And then and we... A little bit of sage and... And a little, little bit, bit of sage. sage. And salt and pepper too. And we sauteed it on the oven, in the, uh, yeah, in the pan on the oven and then... Um, it's in it's it's in the Ooh, refrigerator. It. So and See, then to make the kicked up sauce that you dip it in, you take Dijon mustard. Oh. A little honey. Mm -hmm. Honey's good for everything. Ooh, and it is. It really is. Mm -hmm. Honey and ginger, good things for us. Angel mm -hmm. wing sauce. So Angel this is sauce. the hot sauce that you put in there. Oh my goodness, these look so beautiful. They're so good. And then at the very end you want to mix in some parsley flakes. Let me just get it. Oh, wonderful to a watery consistency there. And then, as you can see, it makes a lovely uh, dipping sauce. And if you're doing something, you know, for family, friends, parties, you could do little, um, the chicken tenders, as Debbie mm -hmm. was saying, and just put them on a skewer and Wonderful. Dip. Would you like me to pour Bloody Mary, too? Um, 
Yeah, why not? Without alcohol. No, we'll do a virgin <laughs> Bloody Mary. Blood, a but virgin you can, one. You okay. can also take the Bloody Mary mix and mix it with tequila and make a Bloody Maria. A, a Bloody Maria. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so look at this. We've got the glasses ready to go. <laughs> okay. And um, if you were using alcohol, obviously, you'd put that in. And then you open up. This is the wonderful. original. It's really good. Now make sure you shake it. And these have horseradish, fresh horseradish roots ground directly into the bottles. Wait till you taste it. Are you serious? I'm serious. It's, it's delicious. wonderful. And because we live in this Washington metropolitan region, we have another version of the Bloody Mary mix that is based on Chesapeake flavors. So it's it's not Old Bay, but it's got that kind of a the seasonings. Yeah, wow. the seasoning. So oh yay, go. Debbie. Cheers. Yay! Cheers. Cheers! Thank you. Here's the Gatoron. Woo. To Gator Gator Ron. Ron. Okay, so you take it out like this. Mm -hmm. mm, it's so good. Mm. Isn't that delicious? You know why I like it? You know, like when you taste different foods, it like reminds you of different things, and and this just reminds me of walking with my dad. Oh, oh. nice! And we could just get the you know the little clams and the hot sauce and. Mm. Yes, it's good. It's perfect. So this is like a memory. Oh, it's wonderful. And we have over there. Why don't you ladies go there and I will start cleaning up here. Thank wow. You. Here, Connie, this is fantastic. The sauce. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we have here some wonderful things that we can actually make. Um, and we can actually go to the website, get all the directions, and prepare this wonderful meal. And it's quick and it's easy and it's healthy. Shall I serve you? Thank you, Debbie. You're welcome, and for you. All right. Great. And, and the nice thing about this is that, and I, I don't, if you don't mind, I just want to just try this. Sure. Because I'm like so anxious. But you have to try the sauce. <laughs> and I had to put the sauce. Right. And what I like about this is that this is kind of, let's say, a fun meal because um, if you're trying to get, you know, young people to kind of like, say, try different things, you can mm -hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. And tell us your website. It's www.gatorrons.com. Mm. Mm. And uh, we also sell online as well as in local markets mm. in the area. So please enjoy, and every dollar that you spend on this goes to ALS Research. Oh, okay. So you're Again. donating, you're helping a cause, and it's delicious. It's and the best. Let me assure you. It's tasty. <laughs> it's well, good. thank you so much for both of you being thank here. Thank you so much, Ingrid. It's, it's such a pleasure to be here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Don't walk. Don't walk. Walk. Do not enter. Hot dogs. Definitely like hot dogs. Motorcycle club. Everything must go. Ghostly ghouls. Don't look at that, Teddy. Body piercing. <laughs> Ouch. Everyday moments can become teaching right, moments buddy. because learning starts long before school does. Give your child the start they need at bornlearning.org. Would you notice if you were missing half your kidney function? According to the National Kidney Foundation, 20 million people have chronic kidney disease and 20 million more may be at risk and not even know it. Anyone with high blood pressure, diabetes, or family history of chronic kidney disease is at risk. Early diagnosis is vitally important. To get the whole story, talk to your doctor and visit the National Kidney Foundation at kidney.org or call for a free brochure. Because when it comes to chronic kidney disease, you might not know the half of it. Exercise your emotions. Attend a live orchestra concert. Go to findaconcert.com. Well, I guess it's back to the gym for me with all this great cooking that we've been eating, all this wonderful food. Well, let's welcome two very important people, Attorney Nelson and Dr. Parker from Psi Rho Omega Chapter, the Loudoun County of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Welcome. 
Thank you for having us, Ingrid. Well, I, you. I'm telling you, I'm very excited about your organization and things that you have planned. First of all, let's start at the very beginning. Tell us a little, give us a little history. Well, of course, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated is the oldest black women's Greek lettered organization in the country. We just celebrated 105 years. Um, and uh, we are the newbies here in Loudoun County, and I'll let Sora Mamie talk about that a little bit. But um, the organization is worldwide, it's international, it's domestic. We probably have about 250,000 initiates, but probably, you know, active, probably half that number nationwide. Um, so, you know, graduates as graduates well as undergraduates. Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. And our chapter, Cyro Omega, was just really established in June of 2012. So we're really new, one of the last chapters uh, established. But certainly there's a need in Loudoun County, uh, in fact, in Northern Virginia, for the work that we are looking forward to do. Our motto is service to all mankind. And we're excited about some of the great service things that we're going to be doing in Loudoun County and here in Northern Virginia. Well, you know, our whole show um, today is focusing on businesses and organizations that give back. And the AKAs are known for giving back and doing so many things for the community. Tell us about the latest thing that you're doing now. Yes, well, we are scheduling what we call Loud Men Are Cooking. And it's an event that we're going to have April 20th. 2013 at BMW of Sterling, Virginia. And we're really excited because Thomas Moorhead and Joyce Moorhead, the owners of BMW of Sterling, offered us an opportunity to go to their place in partnership with them. Warren Thompson, Thompson Hospitality, one of the largest catering companies in this country, Warren has agreed to serve as our honorary chair, one of them anyway, and their motto is strategic partnership. So we're so excited because this effort is all about partnerships where we are helping others help themselves, and we're excited about that partnership that we're going to have with that group. Uh, we're going to bring together over 20 chefs, and they're going to get together and serve some samples of their great food some of them will be very handsome chefs as well, and we're excited <laughs> Is that a criteria that. for selection? Oh, no. no. Well, I'll tell you, one of the things that we're going to do, I, I think it's a great idea. Women's service organization, whether it's Alpha Kappa Alpha or the Junior League or whatever, mm -hmm. we like to do a lot of good works, but sometimes the fellows get left out. Yes. So we thought it would be a really good way to do good, to raise money, to raise awareness, but also to invite the guys in to cook. And oh. we're gonna have a calendar, I understand, and I'm the PR chairman, so it's my job to talk about all the fabulous things mm -hmm. we get to do. And it is, you know, the gentlemen, uh, we're gonna have some hotties cooking, so that's uh, <laughs> yeah. again, again, it's not a qualification. It's, it's the best <laughs> thing is that they have to know how to cook. But the yeah. fact that men will be helping women right. because the proceeds for this fundraiser is certainly they will be centered around helping women underserved and underprivileged women as well as girls and we have a great program in Loudoun County too it's the emerging young leaders mm -hmm. and it's a mentoring program for young girls wow. uh, and we meet once a month with them and expose them to many things that in normal circumstances they may not have a chance to uh, participate uh, and it's been really, really great working with the girls, and some of the proceeds will certainly use for that. Help. Wow. Well, yes. well, Ingrid, just to bring it home a little bit, for folks that aren't too familiar with the fraternities and sororities, particularly in the graduate level, you know, you undergrad, everybody knows fraternity and sororities. They think fun and drinking yes. and partying, but that's not what we do once we graduate. Right. We really do service to the community, mm -hmm. and all are welcome. We, we've done some really good programs, like the one we did uh, around the holidays where we gave people food, the family shopping spree. Wow. And they had 90 families participate. People came and they could get coats and clothes, all free of charge. And we just did an amazing service. So that's what we work on. Well, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about service and helping our community. Mm -hmm. So people are going to be watching this. Mm. And I hope lots of people are watching yes, this. Please right. come out. Um, how do we find more information? Yes, we do have a website. Uh, we don't have a website, but we have a Eventbrite. And they can go on Pro AKA Events on Eventbrite and find us there. Otherwise, they can send us an email and contact us on our uh, email, and it is uh, Cyro Omega, aka at gmail.com. 
CyroOmega.com. And we have a Facebook page, CyroOmega, and a Twitter uh -huh. at CyroOmega. And I am always tweeting and Facebook posting, so <laughs> don't worry. Right. We'll get you. So, yeah. because it sounds like it's like a must uh, attend event yes. in Northern Virginia. So, well, Loudoun County. You better be there. We I, hope I have to. <laughs> That's a given. Right. In fact, we're having a silent auction as a part of the event as well, and I'm sure we'll be getting a lot of support for that. To